What is up, all you beautiful people? You guys! I have my little sister here yep. to enjoy some delicious, delicious. We have fried tilapia. Yep. Made in the disco, all yep. crispy and delicious. By Faja. By Faja, yeah. And then <laughs> we have some micheladas de preparado. Mm hmm. You would consider it our blood? <sighs> Tastes like blood. Tastes good. My dad made some homemade salsa verde. Mm -hmm. <coughs> hey now. Hey now. Hey now. <coughs> oh no. I inhaled some of the chili. <coughs> oh no, breathe. <sighs> and then we bought some salsa verde de mojete. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a salad with cueritos and tomatoes. There's chamoy, culichi sauce. I need to sprinkle some lemon on it. What did you make right there? Um, I guess you would call it like a pico de... Pico de nopales? nopales? Yeah. Okay, I so guess. it has nopales and all kinds of good stuff in there. I see onion, tomato. Cherry tomato and... Uh, cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. And then we have some shrimp with the shale on. And I made that in butter with... Um, some fresh garlic. And some some fresh garlic, garlic and minced garlic. I put sherry wine in it. And... Oh, we have huaraches to eat these with. Mmm. Okay, put that back over there. And yeah, guys, we're going to dig in. We're going to play the sister tag. I'm going to let Mel, her name is Mel, I'm going to let her introduce herself and speak about whatever, whatever you want to. Oh, fuck. So, <laughs> let them know who you is, girl. True. Let them know that you is my sister. Yes. Sister. 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 <laughs> all right, so let's get started. Mm-hmm. Let's dig let's it Let's go, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> we also have some takis here. Takis. Taki, taki. Taki, taki. Taki, taki. Okay. I I'm want, ready. you know what, I want, I want, this shrimp has been like, Stalking me. True. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh no. So what's up, y'all? What's going on? I know. Can you believe it? I know. Finally, after all the poop she talks about me, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, at least you guys have a face to the name. Exactly. That's me. My other sister would have been here too, but she had a birthday party to go to. So she's on her way to Fres Fresno to go pate. Oh yeah? Yeah. I cannot get this off. Like what is going on? The, they're not like sliced at the back. Yeah. I'm just gonna eat everything. We later, so. Mmm. It's cause they were cheaper. <laughs> I guess we're mm. just going to eat with our hands. Oh my gosh, we didn't even get... Mmm. 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 It's so good. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I really, 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 really... Oh yeah, really, let's take really, these fish. Really want this. Oh! It fell in half. Oh, oh no. Look at that butt. fish, you guys. Oh, so it began. Yes. Oh, wait. So. Oh, yeah. He was talking about himself. Yeah. Tell him about yourself. Hi, guys. <laughs> My name's Mel. Um, I guess I would say that I'm an artist. If you can't tell about her makeup. Look at that shit. I mean, also a makeup artist, too. Mm-hmm. Um, She's a licensed makeup artist. True. I told you guys that before. Yes. Um, Her makeup style is very artistic. Yeah, I guess it would be, like, a mix of, like, 
Japanese visual K with like abstract colors, mm -hmm. but mostly black. I love it. Wow, this is really, really good. This is so good. Our dad made it and he messed up because he didn't fry it all the way. So we put it in the oven and broiled it. It's not that he didn't fry it all the way. His mom. The oil. It wasn't hot enough for the initial, like, instant fry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Like, they were basically, like, slow fried. Yeah. Like, slow fried. I'm just over a little so you can come in. Um. True. Um. What else about me? I'm half a century years old. <laughs> half a century? Half a century. <laughs> I mean, half. Oh, my God. A quarter. I'm a quarter. <laughs> Yeah, she's not older than me. She <laughs> well, I'm 50, guys. We don't have to say vampires don't age. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't. Try it now. What? The, the shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So good, right? Right? I had a dream about dipping prawns in this. Is that why you wanted it? Yeah, really bad. Does that happen to anyone else? Do you ever dream of like true pleasure? All the time. <laughs> I talk about my dreams to them all the time. I know. Okay, so. I'm a stalker and I watch all your stuff. You're not a stalker. You love me. I can't help I love her a lot. Okay. So we're going to play the sister tag. Oh yeah, go off. Go off, sis. Okay. What is my favorite... Wait, shit. Oh, it says, what is your sister's favorite food or drink? Well, for sure, her favorite drink is probably Thai tea. <sighs> I didn't get one today. I know, I'll almost consider like, um, like, should we do like a sugary drink and also drink beer later? <laughs> but, no. But it's fine. Um, favorite food? That's a hard one. I don't know. Even for myself. I don't even think I could choose a favorite food. I know I can't. And your favorite drink? Dude, there's so many. Well, most common. Monster. Yeah. True. All the way. I just can't help it. It tastes like gummy bears, but in another sense of the word, if that makes sense. And the, the difference between us, I can't drink energy drinks. And energy drinks do nothing for me. Except for taste good. It's so weird. Yeah. But then again, I don't even drink coffee, so... Guess that's where I get my caffeine if I do or even take it. But I love monsters. They're the best. It's the little things, you know? The little things. Okay. Let me see. Someone said that they like burping. Well, you met your soulmates right here. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Hope was like totally disgusted by me whenever I was burping. Oh, I bet. Okay, well, so everything. what is your sister really good at? <laughs> Cooking and <laughs> um, I don't know where to put this. You put it right now. Lots of things. You're multi-talented. You're a multi multi-faceted Pisces. Definitely. I mean, she is great at doing her artwork on nails, but that's also her job. But then again, I don't want to take away anything about it, because she's really good at it. <laughs> oh, let's get some of that. She's good. Mmm. Oh. Honestly, this fish is so good. Right? I kind of want to too. Mmm. Oh, 
I'm sorry, it's hard to talk, to be honest. And eat when something's so good, you know what I mean? She is very good at makeup, drawing, anything artistic. She can conquer anything when it comes to cooking. I mean, I guess that just kind of runs in our family, though, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think we're all pretty talented. We definitely get that from our dad. But I would also say we also get it on from mom's side, considering our grandma is so... I don't know. Like, she's she finds ways to incorporate art... You know, everything. Like in everything. Mm -hmm. And then since we grew up also like that, you know, and yeah. our dad is very much like. The jack of all trades. We're also close to mastering all of them, you know? Like, if we put our mind to it. True. So I think that's where we got get it from. Mm hmm. What is your sister really bad at? <laughs> what are you bad at? I don't know. Keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> but it's not like a bad thing because it just struck, like, in a relationship or friendship, you should strive for total honesty within each other, even if it is your sibling, considering it's my sister. Like, but I'd like, why can't you just be honest about everything in life? Well, right? I guess it kind of runs in our family. So I'm pretty sure we're this way because of mom. But I mean, I ain't mad or scared to open my mouth about something, and I don't feel like so are you, so mm -hmm. that turned into a good quality. Mm hmm. So. Is she really bad at it? Mm -mm. I'm trying to think of... Like, we're seriously not trying to be like... Like we're fucking perfect and shit, you know? But... I mean, I don't know what she's bad at, but I can just name a list, you know? But... <laughs> but we're good, you know? What am I bad at? What are you bad at? I'm bad at <coughs> letting uh, letting myself make quick decisions whenever I'm so indecisive. Oh my god. <laughs> She's um, also a Gemini. Oh yeah. So that can have so, a lot. So that also means I think I know everything. But I always don't know everything. But most of the time, like 98 point seven <laughs> one one higher than our human body you know i'm pretty sure about things but i do stand corrected and i'm not a sore loser so i totally understand if someone's gonna tell me if i'm wrong <laughs> does it happen often i don't know but i'd rather talk about good about myself than bad i think everybody does you know um i feel like my worst enemy is probably some like anxiety I don't win that fight most often, but I do try. A lot of people struggle with that, though. Yeah, true. Because what? We're relatable. <laughs> Oi, the culichi. Also, the friends are, like, kind of sweet. They are, huh? I think, I think seafood um, tastes better whenever you make it in its shell. You just get a flavor that you can't get from, like something clean if mm -hmm. that makes sense because mm -hmm. anytime i have shrimp it's always better when i'm pulling shit apart mm -hmm. you know our bones oh yeah i flipped my fish over because i just i was just hitting rib you know just hitting the rib mm -hmm. okay go off Ow. what was our biggest fight um, I don't know. So, 
we've never been the type to fight as sisters. Um, of course we have common disagreements. Because we both think that we're right. True. But there's never actually been a fight. We've hurt each other's feelings. True. But I'm not much of a fighter. Mm -mm. Like, I'm really, like, accepting, and I think she's also the same way. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're going to be mad about something, it's obviously for a reason. But even since, there's nothing you can't talk out, because that's what you should do. Talk it out. Communication. Uh-huh. It's the key to everything, and I don't care what anyone says. Mm-hmm. Especially between, like, siblings, you know? Yeah. Because you can, it's always easier to be more evil to your siblings, because, you know... The age difference has a lot to do with it also. Oh, yeah, I agree. We're nine years apart. Nine. I was an only child for... A really long time. Mm-hmm. Nine years. Yeah. And I was supposed to be an only child. True. Um, and then one day, I heard I was, I was getting a sister. And I couldn't have been more happy ecstatic you have no idea yeah can't relate and i have loved mel with all my heart since the day she was born true true i will do anything for her <laughs> anything Stop it. See, how can you hate your sibling when they talk about you like that? You know? <laughs> um, uh, the other one is, is even younger. Yeah. Jasmine is uh, five years younger than me. So yeah. she's actually 14 years younger uh -huh. than you? 14. But it's only because our mother was... Wasn't supposed to reproduce, I believe that is the main fact of the problem. Yeah. But, I don't know. The universe wants things to happen how they want to happen, right? Mm-hmm. So. They know I needed you. I couldn't have did it by myself. <laughs> yeah. Especially our parents. <laughs> our parents are dope as fuck. You know what? We didn't get forks, spoons, napkins. Nope. So we we riding dirty today, yo. Yeah. I need to flip my fish over. Okay. I'm done with that side. Okay. Oh fuck. What? I think I'm dropping fish. Uh, <sighs> one thing you can do which your sister can't. Be confident in public. <laughs> Are you serious? No, like, I can't go up and, like, ask for help. Chris was like, bitch, I already found someone. I can't do that kind of thing. That kind of stuff. I cannot make a smoothie. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot make red beers for the life of me. Oh, true. That is yeah, They come out shitty as shit. But every time I make it for her, she's just like, oh my god. I'm like, how? What are you doing this time? I'm like, how? How is it so perfect? It's okay. I don't have to work as hard this time because she gets them, like, mixed already. Like, they're already uh, doctored. Mm-hmm. And so, I just pour it in. And she's still, like... The homegirl Lily, boo boo, she don't mix them. It's hella bomb. She makes me chalala mix, and it's bomb. It's boom. Like I, like I said, I don't have to do it. Love you, boo. Point. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like this mm. with like this, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it in here. Cross contamination. Who? <laughs> We do not care. Mm, there's a shell. So, d describe the last thing you did with your sister. 
We got fucked up. Oh, last true. weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Yeah, like I'm not really much of a drinker, but anytime anyone's down to drink some Micheladas, and most of the time mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I'm down. So yeah, we got pretty intoxicated. Of course, so I'm a lightweight. We got toasted. Yeah, we were toasted. Toast. Did. My dad has a man cave. We're at my parents' house. Yeah. And um, he has a, a man cave with like a pool table and stuff. And it was just a really good time. Yeah. It always is. True. We get all tipsy and then get into deep conversation. True. And enjoy each other's company. True. You guys got to spend time with your family. Especially the ones you get along with. Even if you don't get along with them. I mean, she said it. I mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We get along with everyone, though. Sure. It's probably the favorites of the family. Because we're ridiculous. And I, know I am. I'm a Gemini, and she's Pisces, so we work off each other's energy. Mmm. Mmm. Amen, sister. You can't have said it better. Sure. Damn, that was hella bad. Mm-hmm. I'm running out of meat, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Oh, you have a little chunk of... Chunk of goodness. I gotta get all these bones out, though. Like, to be honest, I really won't eat tilapia, like, any other way. Like, I have to be in the mood to, like, eat it. Or if it's, like, in those little, like, fish nuggets. But uh-huh. most of the time, like, I'd rather eat salmon. Yeah, I'm that bitch. I'd rather just eat salmon. I love so salmon. Good. I got a salmon poke bowl the other day. Ooh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I know that Roman looked hella bomb, too. Spicy my- miso. Mm-hmm. It's probably like my favorite flavor in, like, everything that has to do with noodles. Oh, it's it so good. It just does something to the noodles. It's so good. I'm just gonna put some of this up on here. Look at how good. Oh! Mmm, aren't they good? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Mmm. We forgot to talk to you. Oopsie. I'm talking about right there? No. I'm gonna have to just get up. I mean, it's been on this whole time. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's continue. (coughs) I keep forgetting about this damn tag. What is your funnest memory together? Um... For me, it would have to be, like, just living life on the ranch. True. Because we were just always together. It was... I, it was I, always a party. Like, it was always a oh, party. Oh, yeah. I've told you guys this before, that we lived on a ranch. And <laughs> let me tell you, we had a flippin' blast. Like, ever since we were little. Yeah, like, every we day. Would, <laughs> We would be outside playing in the mud. We'd be ch- catching frogs. We'd be, we were country girls to the full list. Well, and we just had a flipping blast. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint because yeah. it was every day. Like every day was a party. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't mean like legitimately like we were partying, but like you know when you're just around someone. And you're just like belly laughing and being stupid and telling yes. jokes and references on references that you're just around each other so much that you just like feed off of each other's language, you know? You know, I would have to say my most favorite thing that we used to do together every night, and I mean every night during the week. We would get the big couch and the little couch. We would put them together. I'd lay on the long one. She'd lay on the short one. 
and we would watch Iron Chef. Not no Iron Chef America. Iron Chef Japan. Yeah, Japan. That's where it's at. And Ninja Warrior Japan. Yeah, true. So that had to have been one of my most favorite things that we did together. Yeah, because we would do it every, every night. Day. Yeah. Like every day, every night. Like that was the... the that routine. was our thing. Yeah. And falling asleep like that. And it was just... Oh! <laughs> Get it, girl. Those are my hands. Yeah. It was so yeah, much fun. I, I agree. I love those moments. Mm-hmm. We're always watching movies. Uh-huh. Playing on the PS2. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Since she was so much younger than me, I moved out when she was young. And then had to move back in. And then moved out again. But the closeness always remained. True. And that's, ex like, absolutely what I love about it. Yeah. Distance don't mean shit. Even though she literally <laughs> lives down the way. Like, a, a ten minute drive straight. At the matter house, like. Our lives are just so... Busy. Yeah, while well, we're older. We're older now. Yeah. Can I have another water? Okay. Okay. What is the thing you'd love to do together? <laughs> I'd have to say go to Japan with her. Honestly, I'm down. That is totally what I would just love to do. Like, Yeah, true. Go to Japan. Ow! Do you stab? Yeah. Oh, oh my it God. It pooped me. <laughs> Damn. Oh my goodness. I know. That was like... Like a hard fin. I'm sorry, damn. I was trying to. Oh yeah, it was like their back little like spiny little um Yeah. I only have a fish thing. head. Mmm. True. And also she gives me like a lot more confidence in public. <laughs> so I feel like I would want to be down for more shit if like, yeah. I've always been very confident. She's very confident, too. True. It's just like... I don't know. I don't know, baby. But, like, I play off. It was, like, coming off. <laughs> confident. <laughs> but deep down inside, you're like, ah! Oh, damn! Don't look at me! True. But you can't live like it. Life like that, you know? No. Definitely not. So what's one thing you'd like to do with me? One thing I like to do with you? Go to the movies. Mm-hmm. Because we bring in a little sneaky sneaky. <laughs> I sneak in shots to the movies. And then, I don't know, it's just a good time. Like, I just like going places with you. Or the last one thing we especially did was go to Grizzly Fest. Mm -hmm. And that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Honestly, just us together. With our booze, you know. With our boo things. Just enjoying drinking and listening to bomb music. Especially when someone else knows what kind of music that you listen to, you mm -hmm. know? Like, like, we're so open to everything. And going to concerts together is just good food, good music, good drink. Mm -hmm. We love it. True. Okay. Describe your sister in three words. I have another fish over here. Oh, hang on, the itchies. Three words? Uh huh. Mm. Three words. Um, we took shots before this. <laughs> hey, I'm by myself, okay? <coughs> okay. <coughs> um, beautiful. <coughs> uh, thank you. Um, passionate. Oh, that's a good one. Impactful. Mm. Which I've already 
impact. She has a lot, a lot of impact. Can't forget about Crystal. Can't when you meet Crystal, you can't forget about Crystal. <laughs> you know, like are those enough? Was there enough adjectives? It's always enough. <laughs> oh yeah. Talented. Inspiring. Oh fuck. And. I would have to say passionate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Passionate. Yeah. I would say passionate too. Wow. See? You're wondering why we get along? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, we're okay. Oh my gosh. I thought my nail almost popped off. You guys are kind of like, <laughs> they're not like stale, but they're like, you can tell they weren't like fresh. They yeah, have a little pull, but they're delicious, so like, fish, I don't care. What is a weird habit of your sister? already seen and I think it's weird she liked those she likes those fucking cueritos like <laughs> I just can't eat skin I can't do it like I can't do it I just can't I really don't think there's anything that I wouldn't eat see I wish I could be like that and like, I don't like white chocolate I don't drink milk I love white chocolate but absolutely no no on the dairy no thanks no thanks damn we didn't even have a knife Oh, wait, there's a spoon right here. I'm so confusing. Um, what was the question? Um, what kind of weird habits? Oh. A weird thing. I don't know. Weird. Oh. Uh, uh, ooh. Um. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're not good at this. <laughs> um, if you guys are hair 20,000 times. Oh my God. Is that a weird habit? Constantly Ugh. changing your hair color? I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm searching for something that I can't see yet. And so when I dye my hair, I'm like, bitch, it's a new person. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, fuck. No, it's not. It's still you, man. <laughs> I don't think you can change your <laughs> hair, <laughs> hair color. True, but I don't know. Like, you know I don't know what to get, dude. I'm freaking. <laughs> I am like so out of it. <laughs> like, I don't know what to eat. There's so much goodness. Oh, no. Um, but it's weird because anytime someone befriends me or even sees me normally, they're always like, dude, like, relax with the hair dye. And it's been like that since, like, sophomore year. I don't know. Like I said. The first time I dyed your hair? Looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> True. And plus, like, it's fun. How can you not? And also my hair, like, doesn't hold on and dye very well. So, like, recently my hair was just pink and now it's, like, ashy, peach. Kind of not pink, but there's still something there. I think it's cool. It's like rose gold. Yeah. But I wanted to be more pink because whenever I had dyed it, it was, like, real life Sakura from Naruto and I was down with it you know because I have like a Sasuke haircut but mm -hmm. like I my hair looks like Sakura you know yeah um and and then now it just slowly like died down and it's like more of like a rose gold pastel but I think it's because like my hair my hair is just like um we reject you come back in like three weeks or something <laughs> Yep, that's me. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> mm. It may be weird, but that's just my everyday life. 
so cute. Okay. Um, what is your favorite makeup brand? Oh no, this <laughs> this video is about to get controversial. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my favorite makeup brand, honestly, is Juvia's Place right now. Like their makeup is so pigmented and the colors are amazing. Ten out of ten, recommend. It's what's on my eyeballs right now. You know, I do not own one of those palettes. They're amazing. Like, stop spending coin on, um, on, um, you know, some those... dusty ass eyeshadows that you can chalky, get. Chalky, nasty. Like, like I had told them about the, um, the makeup thing that we went to. Do you want mail on one? Sure. Let's try this. Also, another weird concoction. Unbreak it, though. I don't want the whole thing. Oh. Um, and dude, those things were chalky as shit, man. I bet. Wow, you almost hit me in the nose. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. I went in fine. Um, you know, we would have went just went viral, you know? <laughs> it's all Sister Mark Yeah, Sister, and sister and knocks out. Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> sister fight on mukbang. <laughs> um, and all their eyeshadows were like complete dirt. Yeah. It was fucking Urban Decay. Yeah, I don't, I just think that they're not doing, like, some brands are not doing so well anymore, you know? Like, yeah. Like, times are changing. Like, I used to love Urban Decay palettes. Support the right brands. Like, get quality, not just You because, know what? For you know? being cheap, though, Morphe's legit. I love Morphe. Morphe, hire me. Hire her. Please. Hire Please. Me. Love me some Morphe. But, um, yeah. True, especially the brushes. Love the brushes. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay. Mm. This is so good, huh? Yeah. This is like the best. There you go, sister. Thanks. Wow. My favorite makeup brand I would say for eyeshadows right now Morphe's killing it in the game yeah or no is it yeah. good it's surprisingly good? yeah it's like that stuff you put on uh huh Gulichi. it tastes like a Mexican soy sauce and we, <laughs> that's what we were saying in, in the Bessie's McClung. They were saying that Hope was like, it tastes like, like soy sauce. And then we were like, boyan and. Yeah. Like, it's good, huh? Whoa. Woo. <laughs> it was salty. Was it? <laughs> I think that's the chamoy. Whoa, salty. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Um. Mmm. What else? I love all makeup brands. You know what? Pretty Vulgar is pretty good too. I'm really liking their stuff. Pretty Vulgar? Mm hmm. I gotta bring you some. I'm down. Mm. Is my lipstick all gone yet? You just have your two little my little thing on the side? Okay. That was a point. Honestly, I wish I had like fries. Really? Fries? <laughs> Like, it needs some, like, potato or something. A lot. I think it's because of the shrimp. Because usually I make myself, like, a mini seafood boil. Like, I like I'm, I have per perfected my own beloved seafood boil sauce. But Crystal also does. Which means it's not beloved sauce and it's her own. No, it's literally the same thing except for I added, like, a couple secret ingredients. Ooh. You know? 
And um, but that's what she said. Like you, you make it the way you like it. You know. We don't have any napkins. Nope. Do I have lipstick all over my face? No. Girl. Can't relate. Can't relate. <clears throat> okay. How are you on beer? Um. I need to refill mine. Mine kind of tastes watery now. Really? Yeah. There's this or this. Which one do you want? Put some more in there. Oh, okay. So. Oh my god, my hands, they're so greasy, it's hard to hold on. <laughs> they are all greasy. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We got it. Okay. Now, I think we went through all the questions already. Okay. Um, I'll just ask you I questions. Will, most of these, who who loves cooking and makes delicious items? That's both of us. That's both of us. Because, like, we watched that Iron Chef. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. And plus, like... I think we both have like a really like vast um, palettes when it comes to like eating food. Like I think we all we both know was Gucci, you know? right? What's the what's your what's your favorite movie that you've seen in, in a while? What's the best movie you've seen in a while? The best movie I have seen in a while was Dumplin'. Oh my god, I loved that. I loved it too. I've talked about it in my videos before. So cute. It is, and I loved how Jennifer Aniston was in it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I was all shook whenever I was watching it. I need to watch. And I love how they incorporated drag into it. That's what's Gucci. Uh, what's Gucci, girl? Gucci, Gucci, Louie, oh, Louie, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Oh, my God. It's been a while since I've heard that, huh? It's been a while, Damn. All of a sudden, I'm transported to 2010 all over again. <laughs> you remember what year that came out? Yeah. Well, damn, girl. It's about time that I had graduated, so I remember all that stuff. I'm, I am feel like I still kind of live in, like, 2006 to 2011. Do you ever feel like that? Does that happen to all people when they get older? Like, you felt like you really lived and remember a lot of things from a certain time? Definitely. Because, man... Sometimes I'm like, how the hell can I remember that? But I also remember a lot of stuff. Like, I have a really good memory. What is your funniest memory of me? Oh, I never answered that, huh? I don't think so. No, well, kind of, sort of. Um, where's that? Oh, there it is. Well, not like... Uh, Okay, okay, funniest. Not, but, like, funniest because it was like, oh shit, I just spit. Um, you guys see everything? Um, <laughs> they see everything, oh, girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah, same they're too. They're gonna, gonna notice put, everything. They're gonna be putting times, oh my gosh, at 422. Wow. Something flew out her gap. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag gap life. Really oh, my gap life sisters. I don't have a gap. She's the only one. Yep. The only one blessed with the beautiful gap. Crystal can like totally rock it though. That's all me. Just kidding. Most of the time gaps look good. Because it's a different kind of beauty, you know? I, I mean, have... you perceive whatever is beautiful. But at the same time, you know, like, some bitches are like, damn, that bitch has a gap. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And it makes me appreciate it more because like my sister. Yeah. I am loving these cueritos, if you guys can't tell. I'm loving them. Yeah, I could tell. You this was for her. Like this is for her. This, like, I gotta have no palace. I gotta have them. They're like one of my favorite. I've been eating no palace too, but no, she I know I, skin. I know, but like they roll. <clears throat> Did you double your lashes? Yeah, I'm wearing double lashes. Well, damn, girl. It's only because I couldn't make up my mind. 
Do you ever feel like that? Mm hmm. Like a plastic bag. You know what? I totally envy about. Mel? What? What I totally envy about you? Oh, God. She can sing and I can't. Oh, my God. Stop. Mm hmm. You know what? It shouldn't matter if like you if you don't think you sound good. Mm. Cuz I don't give a shit about that. No, 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 I know, but like I like for a long time I thought I couldn't like I could never like want to like do something with singing cuz I sing all the time. Like I'm a little bird. Mm. Like I can't help it. Like ever if you're around me, you pretty sure have heard me sing like it's not that I sing good, it's just like I feel like I just love to sing and if you put if you mm. love to sing, you're just soulful, right? mm mm-hmm. Mhm. And but she has a good voice at it too. But like my voice is alright. You know, I feel like I really worked on it, but like it could be better, I think, if I like really paid attention to it. But hopefully I can, because I do want to pursue something like that. You know? Yeah. It's just so easy when you could do everything at home. Mm-hmm. Especially since I've done a lot of things. Yeah. This isn't my first rodeo. I'm mm-hmm. getting old. My interest and what I used to do really pay off. To the things I want to accomplish now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell them, sister. True. Um. Wow. Well, I don't know why, but that was like really spicy. That shrimp. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the garlic. The garlic. I put big old chunks of whole garlic in there. Oh, back to okay, okay. Oh, going way off topic again. See, we just do you have friends like that? That like you'll be like talking about something and you just dive and you keep diving and you keep diving and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, oh, let me go back to my first story. You know, sorry, I got off. Let me track. go back to the beginning because I have friends like that too, and I feel like when you have friends like that or people like that, you gotta hold them close because that doesn't happen to a lot of people. Yeah, and that's why small talk exists. Exactly. Um. Uh, uh. The. Okay, not the funnest, but I thought it was the funniest because it was the craziest because it was the thing I remembered the most about being like, oh shit, like I have a lot of anxiety about this situation was when we went to that fucking rave. Um, it wasn't like a rave. It was like a, a, like a, like a big party, but it was just a bunch of people it was and like, there was music. It was like, okay, so from where we're from... We're very um, big on parties. Like, like hidden parties, though. Like things that you're not supposed to find out unless you know someone. Exactly. Like stuff like that. But that was and really I big thing back in the day. everyone. Like it was like the the raves that you had to find out that it was in loca- this location. We talked to someone else and they told you it was in a different location. Mm-hmm. Like stuff like that. That doesn't happen these days because most people, or especially like high schoolers, I feel like they're more like prone to not like... More feeling safer, you know, like compared to Mm -hmm. their generation. Um, But I remember two o'clock in the morning, we went. Her, her other friend Ashley, and me, we all go to this thing. And it was Ashley's little sister, right? Kiki. Oh, yeah, you're right. She was there too. too. And like, I think I was like 13 or 14, I think. 13 or 14. (gasps) That makes me sound so (laughs) bad. No, no, it's just like. Okay, I used to take her to parties when she was young. You know, but, like, she, (laughs) but I've always, I don't know, like, I always, I was always, like, on with the times, like, I learned really fast, and, like, I'm a Gemini, like, I'm very social, so, like, I feel like my maturity was really, like, at a certain point. At a different level. Yeah, you know, especially with being with someone that was so much older than me, like, constantly. Like, I raised her. Yeah, pretty much. And, um, we went, cause it was fine. Like what, if, if I'm not doing anything, like what the fuck, like what's going to happen, you know? Like, yeah. What's going to happen? And she had me. Yeah. Plus like I had my sister there. Like what can't happen to me that she's not going to take care of, you know? Like it's always been like that. I always took care of her to the fullest. Like, yeah. Oh God. Oh fuck. I sprayed myself. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That okay. <laughs> actually didn't say you <laughs> that. Yeah, they kind of did. Shit. Okay. So we went and like, I remember we like stepped out of the car and we were walking to like, this like garage, but it wasn't a garage. It was, like, it, okay, a little, like, it was okay. So it was a packing house. Yeah, a packing house. And the party was where the diesels would back uh, into it. Yeah, yeah and then yeah. they would load the docks onto the the diesels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A, a friend of ours that owned a gas station down the street. He's the one that threw it. It was like a fifteen kger party. Yeah, it was 
crazy. Slash rave. Slash. I had never seen so many people occur to one spot at all at the same time. Like it was crazy. It was like, you know that scene in um um Project X. No, no, no. The, um, the Fast and the Furious. Right, whenever they meet for the like to go on the oh, like, right. to drive, yeah. like all those people, and you know how like they keep driving. There's more, more people. people. <laughs> like that's exactly what was going on. Like it was so many fucking people. And I remember we got out. And literally five minutes were there. They were all done setting up. Everyone was going crazy. Everyone was showing up still. And then like all of a sudden we see a bunch of cops come. <laughs> And then we immediately left. Like, they were they were, they were, just trying to get everyone to get out. Like, no one was trying to, like, put anyone in jail. Like, they were just trying to, like, everybody go home. Like, it's too late. Go on. Like, you know. And yes. then we just drove home. And I remember me in the back of the car, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, that was crazy. Like, that was crazy. You know? Like, that was something. It I was something. for a long time. Yeah. It was something that, like, somebody their age didn't, wouldn't have experience because yeah, or my like, friend Ashley's little sister they're only what like a year apart no I think we're like almost yeah like a year apart yeah, like yeah, a yeah. year or two yeah, apart yeah. right yeah and um so we would take them out with us especially if it was local yeah like we're not going to bars or anything we're just like hanging out you know yeah and plus like we were like it was mostly us most of the time that's like we were alone a lot together so mm-hmm. but so we just like be good. I used to have parties like that at my parents' yes. ranch too. Also, and guess who would take care of everyone? Me. Me. Yep. Because I was just like I was everyone's friend too, you know. Like I was just yeah, like the Crystal's sister. Yeah. <laughs> You're like Crystal's sister. Don't worry. <laughs> Mine would have to be okay. So this was like back in my day, a proud sister moment because she was young. She could drink. And I was dumb and young, and I kind of influenced that upon her. The whole party scene. I mean, <laughs> fuck. For her, what was it? Junior high graduation. We threw your party, your graduation party. Um, <laughs> we threw a freaking kegger at our it house. It was like a huge party. Yeah, it was like yeah. a big party. Very, very I almost big. had to fight some broad because... She was all getting, trying to get sexy on my car. Bitch, get the fuck off my car. What the hell are you doing? Anyways, when she was, you were in high school, right? When you gauged your ears. Yeah, I think I was like a freshman. Freshman. <gasps> she was oh a freshman yeah, in high freshman. school. And she wanted to taper her ears. If you guys don't know what taper her ears, that means gauge them out. Like get them. Her ears are like big now. But at the time, that was from, like, nothing to... What yeah, did you, I had, like, You went a, to what? I had, like, a 16. That's, like, what they pierce your, like, nose with or something. Okay. You know? Like, a 16. Like, that's really small. Like, a little bigger than, like, a, an earring hole. And... She... Oh, well, we'll go on. Downed... Sorry. A half a bottle of gin. Seagram's gin. The oh big bottle. God. We went into the bathroom. And one of my friends at the time... She had brought her a kit, and she's like, no, I want you to just push it straight through. From what to what? Like 16 to like almost like almost a zero. She did it straight through. I was just like... She was, I mean, twisting. not even a little bitch about... I mean, they were just like... You could hear her skin like cracking as they were like pushing it through. Oh my gosh. I was so proud of her that she wasn't a little bitch. I was like, yes, I fucking did my job right. I raised a salve, yo. A salve. Don't get me wrong. My my parents have always been here. But I've always treated her like if she was mine. Um, I think that's why I don't didn't ever want kids. Um, she always slept with me. She was always I mean, till how old were you when I moved out? And then even after that, she still slept in my bed and took over my room and... Wow, obsessive much? It's okay! It's okay. I mean, you know, like like I said, we were always together. Like, we had to share a room, you know? Like, that's just how it, be- it was. I remember the day that I gave her a car. The uh, first car. Uh, <laughs> Crystal's giving me two cars. Oh. Uh. Like I, I don't know. A lot of people can't say can say that kind of stuff. Honestly, I love you. I love you too. Gotta make sure you're right. True. 
How you gonna win if you ain't right within? How you gonna win if you ain't right within? <laughs> so, <laughs> silly. I treat her like my baby. So. Talk shit. When you're like 25. Talk shit and, and, your ass and then all of a black. sudden you feel like you're 11 again. <laughs> I'm a I'm a nurturer. Are you getting full? Honestly, I'm so full. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Uh, we 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 just because we're like a dedicated mukbangers. Like I watch so much shit. She watches so much shit. I have my favorites. She has her favorites. But like sometimes I'm like, damn bitch, how the fuck did you eat all of it? Like, mm-hmm. I mean, we've been eating a lot. All the shrimp are almost gone. Look yeah. at my pile. Like, yeah, I've just been, like, I I ate one whole. Especially whenever I'm talking, I could just keep like you know <laughs> going like, through it, going through it. I keep eating those and that. It's literally so good. So good. I think like I said, the dream, the dream eating the the shrimp with this is literally what I've just been like devouring and paying attention to because it's so amazing. Like, <laughs> right? Um, I need to drink my beer more. But I'm catching kind of a little tips. A little tips? I think it was the shots before. And we didn't just take shots of liquor. We took shots of moonshine. Apple... Cinnamon? Yeah, it was the, or the apple, apple cinnamon pie, moonshine. Something? Apple pie. Yeah. It smelled. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the aftertaste was very like apple cinnamon pie. Like, yeah. Super. But that they put like like the um candied the apples with like a little like bourbon or like moonshine or something <laughs> before they put it in the pie. You You're know? so intricate. I swear. <laughs> It's, it's moonshine. It burns, but it tastes like cinnamon oh, and yeah, apple. No, it was pretty good though. <laughs> and I'm usually like a B when it comes to like, oh, like a oh, god, a shot. I cannot handle shots. I can't like a few, and I'm like, I can only have like one more beer now because I'm like done. You know, dude. On Christmas, her boyfriend and I and her, we drank a whole bottle of Crown Royal. We were. It was the vanilla one, huh? No. Apple. Mmm. Apple. Watch out. Apple flavored things just happen to go down better. So smooth, but man. I think it's because apple's like just a good flavor. Especially like green apple. Like. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. The wall. It's so close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> It's like at this right now. Like I could let it just lift up to close my mouth, but I'm just like, you could do like a couple more shrimp. Mm-hmm. We went through all those questions. That was like, um, let's see. Have you watched *The Star Is Born* yet? No. Lady Gaga is like my one true aspiration in life i want to be on her level like you know she's dope and like damn if you haven't seen that movie guys like seriously like it's you worth know it. how busy i am it's worth it it's worth it i know true but damn you gotta watch it mm-hmm. asap rocky i really want to watch it um Any funny stories about me that you want them to know? I'm always funny, but it need to stand out still. It sucks whenever you put on the spot. Watch. Whenever we get off issues and be like, Ma'am, I should have told him this and I should have told him that. <laughs> There was garlic under my nails. Was it spicy? Kind of. Yeah. Mm. Let me see. I can tell a funny story. So, this one has been obsessed with snakes and reptiles and climbing trees and catching things. Literally anything. No fear. So. Sure have it now. 
I <laughs> just kidding. Not when it comes to animals. Like I, I don't know. I just can't help it. Like, so I am one with the animal. My dad brought home a snake one day. Oh God! Did he bring it home or did he just catch it in the yard? No, he definitely brought that fucking he did. bitch home. Um, <laughs> hence, oh, I grew up watching a lot of Crocodile Hunter and um Wild Boys, so. I thought I was a bad dude. <laughs> bad. I thought she I... thought she was untouchable. <laughs> she thought, oh, there's no animal creature that I could catch that is not going to Or, like, me. befriend or something, you know? But, oh. <laughs> I was so, this yeah. My dad brought home this snake. And he pissed it off. Because they had it in a paper bag. I, one, I should have understood the, like... Why wouldn't this animal be upset from not being able to see inside of a bag that he just had waiting for me, you know? Oh, my dad. Um, but Steve Irwin was not proud of me that day. Nope. He pulled it out of the bag. I went to grab it. <laughs> below the head. Below the head. Right whenever their their little, like, jaws meet is where he's supposed to grab it. And it was... I think it was like a corn snake or something. Like, mm -hmm. like it wasn't no like I used to just pick up gopher snakes like no problem. And gardener snakes and, and gardener snakes like because like they're harmless unless they were like provoked before and then, yeah. then you're gonna have a problem. You know? And he definitely provoked it. Um. So I went to grab it. Didn't grab hard enough because this guy was aggressive. <laughs> Literally slithers out. I'm still holding it and then it just goes chomp. Right chomp, on chomp, her chomp, 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 chomp. And she's all. I was screaming and I just flung, like, just let go, please. And then I was just bleeding. Because, you know, they have such small hypothermic needle teeth that, like, even if it's, like, one chomp and done, it's still going to bleed a lot. Yes. Straight I away. thought my dad was going to die laughing. That's totally what he wanted to happen. He's such a jokester. He was just, like, busting up. And this one is just, like... Do you still have your scars? I honestly I can't tell. I probably do. <coughs> because he chomped. Like, like super chomped. hard. I felt it like he didn't make it to the bone, but he was like <laughs> chomp. Like, uh, let me the F go, bruh. Like <laughs> I'm not the one. Bye. Right? You know? Oh. Did I learn my lesson that day? Yeah. Did it stop me? No. Yeah. But it's nope. okay. Cause you know, if something's gonna bite you, that means don't mess with it. I learned my lesson. <laughs> All right. One time, there was some stray cats around our house. And they had kittens. And my friend, Ashley, she was the happiness in the in my last video. She caught one of them. And she's holding it by the neck. So I go to, like, pet the top of its head. And it goes, Aah! It's like, ying, ying, on my finger. And I'm all like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like patting it on the head because I didn't want to hit it. And I'm like, let go. I still have the little scars. Yeah, it was. the little kitten. It was like And the cat's on. Ying, 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 ying. I was all, ah. Like grinding. <laughs> like, I'm going to eat your damn <laughs> finger. I was like, ying, ying, ying. <laughs> Oh my god. That reminds me of whenever you kiss the turtle. Oh! You're a little thingy off. Okay, so my mom, she is like, like a really, uh, like a turtle lover. Like she fucking loves turtles. Uh -huh. like she does. And we had She one. has rescued so many turtles. Yeah, like my mom, like, she just. Yeah, she loves she turtles. She just adores them. I don't know why. But mm -hmm. they're, yeah. I mean, yeah. they're cute. True. Um, but like, but turtle? It's like, okay, mom, go off. Um, so we had this turtle at our old place and we had, we always had a pool. Like it didn't matter what kind. It was just, we had a pool mm -hmm. and one day we were chilling out and my mom brings out, Oh, look at the turtle. So my sister I'm intoxicated, drunk. she's intoxicated under the influence, intoxicated, couldn't make a coherent <laughs> decision about what she was about to do. So she literally grabs it and she's like, Oh, and then she goes to kiss it and it fucking just snatches the little like thing on my the lip thing and then just like rips it off whoa <laughs> her 
her still after it went off. Like she was like bleeding a little bit, not so much as what it it could I have mean, done. It, she like yeah. could have fucked you up, yeah. you know. But like, I I remember just like sitting there, like wow. <laughs> well, I can't believe I just experienced that. Like, so stupid. We did the stupidest. <laughs> stuff. Dude, we used to make slip and slides. And one day, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? When our, when, our when everyone's clothes were slipping off. Yes. Oh my god, we were so stupid. So I had shorts on, and then I had like a tube top, and we had this long slip and slide. And I don't know. We put soap or we put something on it so we would slide faster. And literally, I'm running, I break for the slip inside, my tube top goes rolling down, boobies exposed, then my shorts go rolling down, ass exposed. You know when you're wet and trying to put that shit back on? <laughs> my friend Ashley, the half on us again, had her camera out and she's filming, and I'm like, it was so funny. It was like, so We used to do some hilarious. crazy ass stuff. Oh my goodness. I am so cool. One more. I think that's it. One more and that's all I can do. <laughs> oh my god. My eyes are crying. <laughs> like. Oh my gosh. Good times. I love talking about like old times and stuff. It's Me too. A lot of fun. <sighs> you all done? Oh we didn't get to... Her nails, they're slaying right now. They're so cute, even though they're full of fish. <laughs> yeah. So cute. She has little claws. Oh my gosh. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, this was fun. Yes, it was. We need to do it more often. True. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So every time I upload, you guys will see it first. True. Because if I see it, then that means you fucking saw it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. She gonna tell you. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next mukbang. Where that pizza and up girl. Peace. Peace.